Hi, I'm Brenda. Welcome to Nancy and Apron. Today we're going to make a uh, easy chicken pot pie. Pretty easy to make. We use a homemade crust. Uh, simple and delicious. Um, for our pie crust, I'm going to use my basic crust. And that is uh, one stick of frozen butter, uh, one and a fourth cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of monk fruit or sugar, your preference, um, four to five tablespoons of ice water. Be sure it's ice water and the frozen butter. You have to use that. And we're also going to use one egg yolk. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and measure out our flour. Let me step this out of the way. Now after we get all of this mixed in together, we're going to um, put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. It's always best whenever you're measuring flour to uh, use a scoop of some kind to get it out and then uh, pour it into your uh, measuring cup. That way you get a more accurate measurement and it's not packed in so that you're not putting too much in. Oops. Or just flinging it and going overboard. It's okay. We're good. <laughs> Now I'm going to leave all this out because I'm going to make a dessert later that you all are going to get to see as well. Yeah. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> I hope, anyway. Alright. This is the tablespoon of monk fruit sweetener is what I use. Tablespoon of salt. Yeah. Get my dough fork and we'll give this a little stir. Next thing we're going to do is go ahead and shred up our butter. Do half a stick of it at a time. Now this is going to make, by the way, I guess I should let you know, that this will make a, a 9 inch pie plate. And you can always double the recipe to do a 9 by 13 dish if that's what your preference is. left hand. I'm not left handed. I'm right handed. If you're wondering what's going on. It's a it's not the equipment. It's the operator. <laughs> okay. Let's get that on out there. This works really good for shredding all things. <laughs> You probably, if you've watched my vlog on the chicken empanadas, then you probably saw me using it in there too. And we're going to work this together in with the flour. of that other as we can. There we go. Now. It's a little suction cup there that holds it in place. And once again, I forgot to put my sink of water over here. 
after we get this mixed in together, then we're going to go ahead and add our, um, the yolk of the egg. I might have said egg white, and it's not the egg white we're going to put in it. It's the yolk. So, we'll use the egg white kind of like a, uh, just to brush it on the top of the crust, like an egg wash. Probably put just a little bit of water in with it. But... We're just going to mix this in together. Here we go. Next up is the egg yolk. I'm going to separate it and hope that I don't break it. I know, they have little devices you can use to separate your egg white, but I don't have one of those. <laughs> usually, I don't have an issue. I'm saying usually because just as sure as I didn't, I would. <laughs> we don't want that to happen, right? So, in the flour it goes. Rinse my hands again. Now we're just going to set that back out of the way. And we're going to put our five, I'll do four uh, tablespoons of ice water. First. And uh, if it's still, we're looking for a shaggy dough. And uh, you can always add to it. Can't take from it. That's why we want to start out with four tablespoons. And it's faster for me just to do it with my hand. You can use um, your dough fork or however you typically would mix your uh, flour and butter together. But this is this crust is so delicious. Butter crust like this. It, it make, it's so light and I can tell you my mouth is watering. <laughs> After we get this all mixed together, I'm going to wrap it in plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Of course, how much water you use kind of depends on your weather. I don't know what causes it. I'm sure somebody knows, but uh, it, it does depend on the weather. Kind of like with some candies that you make. Depends on the weather. Okay, there we go. Now, I already have me some plastic wrap ready over here. Let me get that and we're gonna, uh, again, just put it in plastic wrap, stick it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. And then I'll be back. Okay, I do have our oven preheating at um, 400 degrees. Now, you can use whatever mix or vegetables that you like. I'm choosing peas and carrots. They are the frozen ones. Uh, you can use can of mixed vegetables. You can put you some potatoes in here. But this is what I'm going to use. And uh, I have, how many ounces of chicken do I have here? 12.5 uh, ounces of candied chicken. I told you this is a quick recipe. So, <laughs> and if it flies out of the bowl, throw it back in. <laughs> Give that a little chop and mix it up. Yeah. I'm using cream of potato soup. You can use cream of um, celery. You can use cream of chicken, uh, cream of mushroom, whatever it, your preference is. And I've got about a third cup of milk measured out over here. I'm not sure how much we're going to use yet, but I want to use it to thin this down. Now I'm also, I think I mentioned already, I'm going to use a 9 inch pie plate, which I'm going to spray with non-stick spray here in just a minute. We want to get this mixed up really well. 
and then we're going to work on our crust after we get this in our pie plate. Okay, let's go ahead and pour a little more in there. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, probably about a fourth teaspoon of salt to it. Spray our pie plate with some nonstick olive oil. Well, with olive oil, it's not nonstick. Well, it is nonstick, but it's olive oil. That's what we're spraying it with. I'm going to go ahead and put this into the pie plate. And then we're going to roll out our dough, our, our crust dough. That was called, I hit the camera with the bowl. <laughs> okay, now let me spread this out. Again, now you can put whatever vegetables you want in here. If you want to use, like, uh, the broccoli and cauliflower, I, I like making it like that as well. I have a keto uh, chicken pot pie recipe. We'll link down there that you can check out if you're into keto or low carb. Okay, yeah. Okay, dough out. We're going to roll this out. Put a little bit of flour on the top. And flip it over. And do that one more time. So that it doesn't stick too much. Rolling pin out, a little bit of flour on it. Start working with this. You want your dough thin so you get a try to get it even as even as possible all the way around so that uh, it cooks throughout. You don't have a piece of gooey crust. I'm just trying to, to to eye it to see, make sure I've, I've got it fairly even. Okay, now yeah. bring this back over here, and we're just going to lay it on the top and we'll just push our crust down inside. some of this off. Okay. 
I don't want too much of it um, poking up because we don't want to burn it. But we're going to put it in our preheated oven and 400 degrees. And we're going to bake this for about 40 minutes. Let's get my crust down in there. Now, if your crust starts getting a little too brown, then you can, I'm going to set this back in the fridge because I'm going to use it with the other recipe that I'm going to work on here soon. But, um, just uh, give it some cuts on here, some air vents. And let's, uh, let's get this in the oven. And in we go. But now, if your, crust, if your crust starts getting too brown, you can always cover it with some aluminum foil. We'll be back in about 40 minutes, and uh, we'll see how this looks. Forgot something. We don't want to forget this. We're going to put this egg wash on there. That's just the egg whites from uh, the eggs that I was that I used to make the crust with. And we're just going to brush it around on there. <laughs> what? I saw that sitting there. This sure does make the pie crust look a lot prettier. There we go. Now. There we go. And I'm going to put a little bit of parsley on the top. Now, we're going to put this in the oven. And then I'm going to get started on all these dishes over here. So, now, let's try this again. <laughs> I'll be back with you all soon. Okay, sorry about the noise. I'm using my air fryer. Um, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I did have to cover it with some foil, just like that. That's how you do it. You do that with a, if you're baking a pie at home, pumpkin pies, anything like that that's coming up soon. But look, <laughs> uh, we have to let this set and cool down so it will start to, to uh, pull together. But I can tell you, <laughs> this smells so good, you all. Oh my goodness. But, uh, probably about 15 minutes. It'll seem like just a split second to you. I believe this has cooled down enough that we can give it a little taste. Look at that crust, guys. Wow, just look at that crust. Mmm. Oops, got a little, got a little steamy there, didn't it? It's still pretty hot on the inside, of course. All right, I'm gonna hand this over to Tom. Y'all know he's the designated taste tester for Nana's Hidden Apron. <laughs> yes, favorite job. Be careful, because it is very hot. Let me pick that back up. It jumped off my fork. Mmm. You like it? Yes, I do. Yeah. I used to use Bisquick, but I figured, you know what? Let me make this crust. Um, I like it better with the crust than with the Bisquick. Yay! Because well, another big old bite of this. I always have that stuff on hand at home that I make that crust with, so. But again, we'll put the link, <laughs> we'll put the link in uh, for the crust. And uh, you can find the full recipes on my Handcrafted Vibe page on Facebook. But I'm going to get me something to eat, y'all. Y'all take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.